There's an old line just outside of Fensworth Station, which leads to a small branch line station called Fensworth Holt. It was a small station to serve the people just outside of Fensworth, but the line has since been abandoned. This line became the topic of a discussion that the engines were talking about one night in the shed. Have you guys ever noticed that line just outside of Fensworth? You mean the line heading to Fensworth Halt? How do you know where that goes? Oh, he was one of the first engines on the line. I remember it being fully operational back in the day. There was an engine that was bought specifically to run it. I can't remember his name or what class he was. All I can remember is that he had a red livery with yellow lion in. Do you know what's happened to him? Well, no. All I remember was his last run up the branch line. He went light engine up the branch line and then was never seen again. That's strange. I wonder what's happened to him. I was wondering the same thing, actually. The next day, after the engine set off for work, Lisa talked to the controller about the old line. That is fascinating. You know what? Since you and Terry are intrigued by the old line, I'll send you two down the line later tonight where there are a small number of goods and passenger trains around. Then you can go and see what you can find. I guess so. Don't worry, Lisa. I'm sure this will be a grand discovery. I hope so. That night at Fensworth Sheds, Lisa spoke to Terry about going on the old line. I'm kind of anxious about this. I haven't seen that engine in a while. I'm shy as well. Now I don't know if I want to go now. Ha ha ha. Don't be scared, you two. We are not. Unfortunately, they were. A little. On their way to the abandoned line, all Terry and Lisa could think about was how spooky they thought the abandoned line would look. This line is quite creepy. I hope there are no ghosts. I don't think so. Ghosts aren't real as far as I know. It wasn't long until Terry and Lisa saw an old engine shed and an old abandoned station. In the siding was an old engine shed. Goodness, how long has this place been abandoned? I'm not sure. You go explore the engine shed, and I'll explore the station. What a strange place. I wonder whose shed this is. Huh? Who's there? <laughs> What's wrong? There's a ghost in the shed. We need to get out of here. But you told me ghosts don't exist. Let me come over and take a look. Lisa and Terry got their crews to take away all the rubble, and there, inside the shed, was an old engine and a coach. My goodness. It's a good thing we found you out just outside of Fensworth. So that station's still up? I didn't think it would be. Who even are you? I... am Fensworth. What?! How is that even possible? Let me tell you my story. Back in 1898, I was built at the main workshops at the time, which was located at Fensworth. I was a Cora built Midland 1F, because the manager of the Cora Railway at the time was good friends with the person who built one, the 1Fs, Samuel W. Johnson. I was renamed after the station, uh, and did odd jobs around there. My favorite was taking passengers down the little line. The station at the end of the line was called Fensworth Halt, which served the people who lived outside of Fensworth. I was the only engine running the Cora Railway at the time, because the line wasn't that old big. Eventually, in 1916, a new engine uh, came to take over my work, and it was scheduled to be withdrawn. However, the locals weren't happy with this. So what they did 
was they put me in a shed with my faithful coach, hoping that someone uh, would come along and purchase us. However, that day never came. We sat in the shed for years upon years, hoping someone would purchase us, but no one knew this line existed, as it was shut down a little while after we were put in the shed. No one could have possibly known we were here. And ever since that day, I've been sitting in the shed, slowly fading in everyone's memories. Terry and Lisa were stunned. They didn't know what to say. Oh my goodness. I have no words. Same. Well, would you like us to rescue you from this awful place? I'm sure the controller would love to purchase an engine like you. Surely you have some potential for the railway. Oh, thank you both. It'll be nice to run on the Cora Railway again. Oh yeah, you haven't heard yet? I haven't heard what? The Cora Railway was recently renamed to the Nightingale Railway because of the expansion of it which was further reinforced by the heroic actions of our two engines. Oh, well, the name is nice at least. Yes, we agree too. Now let's get you out of this place, and we'll bring your coach too if you would like. Thank you very much. Kaylee will be very happy with that. Kaylee? That's the name of my coach. She helped her with running this little line. Interesting. Now let's get out of here. Terry soon coupled up in front of Fensworth. His crew oiled Fensworth's wheels so that he would run smoothly again. Right. We're all good. Let's go. We're right behind you. Or forward in this case. Well done, Terry. Well done. When Terry and Lisa shunted Fensworth into the works, he thanked them both. Thank you very much for rescuing me. I'm happy to have a new home on the Nightingale Railway. No problem. It's always a pleasure to help someone out. Lisa? Terry? Who's that? All the engines jumped. They'd forgotten that Pete was at the works too, getting a new livery. Uh, this is Fensworth. We found him on that abandoned line that we were sent to investigate. So that's what I saw coming into the works, eh? All the engines were surprised to see another engine pull into the works, which was coincidentally carrying the railway controller, whose name was Mr. Turner. Have we not mentioned that yet? Well, this was quite the discovery. I presume you're Fensworth. My father told me about you when he was a railway controller. It is nice to see you in person. Thank you, sir. It'll be nice to have you working again. Although while we are all here, I would like to introduce you for to Robinson. He is another new engine that I purchased from the LNER. He will be working on the Nightingale Railway permanently. Hello, Robinson. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hello, everyone. Now, Fensworth, what livery would you like to be painted in? If I may, sir, I would love to have my original livery, which was a sort of red with yellow stripes. Why, of course. Thank you very much, sir. After Fensworth was restored and painted, he chuffed out of the works, beaming happily with his new coat. 
Terry and Lisa were just outside the works waiting for him. I can't thank you enough. I feel splendid. Always good to make new friends. Indeed. Back at Fensworth Sheds, all the engines were talking about Fensworth and how they admired his work ethic. Except for one, being Wilfred. Why does any engine keep praising this particular engine? All he does is just stay in a shed. He doesn't sleep at the sheds all day, Wilfred. Unlike you, he's a great worker. Pah! If he was useful, maybe he should be a henhouse instead. That's quite enough, Wilfred. You may not see it, but he's a useful engine. Lisa said he was a great help when she broke down at the level crossing. You're acting like how I did when I was annoyed with the fact Kerr was going for repairs and how I was complaining about being overworked. Exactly! Just understand the fact that Friendsworth is useful, and you need to make it evident that you are too! I'll believe it when pigs fly. Oh, but they do fly! And they're called Roadhogs! <laughs> <laughs> Ha ha ha. You should be a comedian. Stand up is my thing. Oh wait, I'm a steam engine. <laughs> <laughs> oh bother. Shut up. Shut up where? I don't see a door up there. One evening, Wilfred was waiting at Wington Station when Kale pulled up alongside him. Hey, Cal, can I ask you a question? Sure thing, what's up? Has Fensworth been working hard lately? Yes, he has. If it weren't for him, I would have been ten minutes late. Rubbish! Wilfred, if anything is rubbish, it's the fact that you're making up excuses to make up. Dear old Fensworth, he's been through enough as it is. Pa! Wilfred left as Dave rolled in. Oh, great, is he out it with Fensworth? Unfortunately, yes. Well, we'll just have to ignore him. Karma will get to him anyways. Yeah, you're right, Dave. Come on, come on, come on! Happening. Your brakes are locked on now. We'll be late. You should have gone that faster anyways. <sighs> I'll go out to the nearest station for phone health. It will take a quite a while. Back at Wington Sheds, Kale and Fensworth were resting when Mr. Turner walked up. Wolford is broken down. He can't go on his own power. Fensworth, you will have to take him over to the Jervis station on the line. Alright, sir. I'll see you later, Kale. Good luck, Fensworth. <laughs> That'll teach him. Hello there, old friend. Don't worry, we'll have you at Gervais Station soon. Soon, Fensworth coupled up with Wilfred and took him to Gervais Station. Fortunately, he was late, but the workman understood this and thanked Fensworth for rescuing Wilfred. Hey, Fensworth. I'm sorry for my actions for the past couple of days. It's alright. I may be old, but I am still really useful. And I look forward to meeting you in the main line. Have any tips for me? Of course I do, but we'll talk about it tomorrow. Good night. Good night. <laughs>